Hello, hello and welcome to this week's video. We're gonna have another crack at Affinity 3.0 and we are gonna edit this photo that I took in Krakow earlier this year. Um, and I just wanna see, you know, how this update impacts my workflow. Um, and at the same time, maybe you'll be able to um, see something that is, you know, worth learning or you can give me some pointers on what I'm doing wrong or how should I improve my uh, my edits. So I'm just gonna do a light editing on this one. I'm not gonna remove elements. I'm not gonna try to uh, mask, uh, you know, different types of elements. I just like this image. It's so nice um, for me. I really like graffiti and uh, I don't encourage vandalism, um, but um, you know, it's it's an art of expression. Uh, it's a type of expression and um, this wall here, this building, um, it ended up this way through, I don't know, years and years of people going and adding bits and pieces to it. Um, and it's, as I said, it's a, it's a form of expression and until this, building will get uh, rehabilitated I think it's something that it's worth capturing mostly because as far as I've seen Krakow goes now under well it started a, a few years back but uh, it now it starts to rehabilitate old buildings so yeah this will disappear in a few years so I think it's worth capturing the moment and I really like it so let's edit this image enough talking um, we can see here, this is a raw image. I haven't done too much to it. It's just import to affinity and I've just cropped it into a 16 by nine um, crop ratio. So I'm gonna develop it. And please ignore these two groups here. I just uh, had a play before, but my recording just um, stopped. So <laughs> I had to re-record this lovely video. <laughs> right, so let's continue. First of all, what I want to do here is let's add a brightness and contrast. And I want to influence only the highlights or the midtones, we'll see. So we'll apply to this adjustment. We're gonna hold Option or Command on Windows and we're gonna add a luminosity range mask like we've done in the previous video. If you haven't seen, I'm gonna link it here now. So let's add the mid-tones. Actually, no, let's change the shadows. And I'm gonna close this one. And from here, I'm gonna click on the adjustment icon and I'm gonna bring the brightness down and up the contrast, something like this. Another thing that I want to do, and I want to do it now so we can see it properly, I want to add levels. And from the levels, we're gonna try to balance the image here. Lovely. All right. Um, another thing that I want to add to this image is clarity. So, the way to do this, you can you have filters here, and if you go down, 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 you have clarity. Now you see me using this here instead of the actual menu because I really hate Affinity's menu right now. It's so convoluted, so complex, where you have all the three softwares in in one and you need to go and actually you know click on the pixel layer and from here go to adjustment or you know a live filter and sharpen and have clarity it's easier just click here and you will add your clarity um, and again it's a live clarity so right so let's add i think around 60 percent should do it so in order to see the image hit command one and this is after clarity this is before clarity so you can see clearly <laughs> you see what I've done there clearly uh, you can see a difference and uh, it 
pops all those details into the walls of the building um, and yeah really nice really cool okay um, let's see what else we can add this was early morning and I know that the image was a bit um, warmer so let's add a white balance and let's add a tiny bit of warmth to this and hit close this looks really good really really good what else we can do to this to be honest not that many things um, let's compare it to the ones that I've already done so let me group this ones and I will hide it so I have this option which more or less looks the same so if I uh, yeah well it goes from one to another so this looks the same and this is a bit more uh, cold but yeah as you can see for the moment my workflow didn't change that much the tools are more or less there the only thing that changes um, that changed is the menu and the fact that you have like three uh, softwares in one and I was editing an image yesterday and I don't know I hit by mistake a brush or I called by mistake a brush and I didn't understood why the brush was looking so weird um, and it was because I called by mistake the vector brush instead of you know the normal pixel brush so you can see why some people especially if they are at the beginning of you know learning this new software um, can get frustrated with it um, my opinion I think they need to work a bit more on integrating the softwares like if now I'm on pixel and I work on pixel I really want to uh, to be able to work only with the tools that I have in pixel and after that just you know change from pixel to vector or something like that or uh, I don't know I it's as I said it can be a bit frustrating and it can be a bit overwhelming sometimes um, but yeah let's see what uh, Canva is gonna develop I hope you enjoyed this uh, this short video and uh, leave a comment below and let me know how do you find Affinity 3.0 is it worth it uh, did you have any issues migrating from 2.0 to 3.0 or you haven't migrated yet uh, if no why so yeah let's have a quick conversation because I'm really interested in 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 your opinions leave a comment below and let me know what else would you like me to cover or do um, I hope we're gonna have or at least I'm gonna try to make another video by the end of the year where we wrap up so I'm gonna tell you some things that I'm uh, developing at the moment for next year uh, one is a photo challenge and it's gonna be cool um, because it's structured per week per month and uh, for the entire year so if you wanna follow me on that, hit the subscribe button and ring the bell to get notified when I'm uploading new videos. So until next time, please take care, be safe and take a lot of photos.